Okay, so this is a demonstration of a workshop composition um, for ambient artillery. So that you can put some artillery pieces down and have them fire at a set location, um, either using mortars or using artillery pieces from RHS. Uh, there's not really that many artillery pieces that you can use from vanilla, so this is why RHS is being included in this one. So from the Eden editor, first of all, you need to start a new scenario um, in whichever map you're going to use. Um, I'm just using virtual reality to set this up. So start a scenario. And then you're going to go to F2 compositions, custom. And for you, if you've subscribed to this from a Steam Workshop, you're going to be looking on the Steam, Steam subscribed content down here. And it should be under Helpers, which will be here. Uh, as I've not uploaded it yet, for me, it's under Helpers already. So it is here and it is called CD Artillery Scripted. So I click on that. It's got a map view. Drop it down somewhere on the map. And that's it, done. So now we should have everything in place that we need to use this. One thing that we need to demonstrate is uh, a player. So I'm just going to pop down a, a standard NATO. Let's go with uh, Ammo Bearer as my player. Okay, so now we have a player. Um, all the triggers here are set to go from radio. So this one is Radio Bravo, the motors. This is motor one. This is motor two. And they're both set on Radio Bravo. The three artillery pieces, RT2, RT3, RT4, are set on Radio Alpha. So to actually get the artillery to fire, if you want the motors only to fire, you press uh, the code for Radio Alpha, which is 001 on the keyboard. If you want the um, motors to fire only, 002 on the keyboard. Or if you want both to fire all at the same time, then you do both radio codes. So got my player. Let's demonstrate this single player scenario. These are the targets. Um, actually, after you load these into your map, you're going to want to take out the actual target um, so it doesn't appear on the map for other players. The um, empty target you need to leave because that is what the artillery is going to be aiming at. This one here is just for demonstration purposes so you can see on the map um, where your stuff is landing. I've also put a little rhino wreck at each target so that you have uh, three frames of reference there. The actual target itself, which is the empty, which won't appear on the map, target, map marker, and the rhino. So you can see where your shots are about to land. Okay, so. Play scenario. Okay, so we have all the different units here. So the motors, just the standard Mark 6 motor, um, which is vanilla. Uh, so you can use those in any uh, scenario, even if you haven't got RHS loaded. But the artillery pieces here, the M119s, are from the RHS mod. So you have to have RHS loaded to use these ones. Okay, so if we go to the radio code, so I'm going to press 0, 0 now. So as you can see there, we've got number one is RT, number two is mortars. So let's go with the uh, RT first. So if it hit one now, you can see the guns are elevating. They're going to fire at um, slightly different times, just so you don't get them firing at exactly three shots going off at exactly the same time for the ambience is a little bit better. And what they will do is they will each fire four rounds and then uh, go into pause mode. If you want them to fire another four rounds, you just repeat the same process. Radio Alpha. And they'll repeat that firing mission. Okay, let's get the uh, 
motors involved as well. So the motors are Radio Brava, so 0, 0, and 2. So now this motor here is going to fire four rounds off in quick succession. And that's happening down at the other end as well, the other motor. And you can see those shots are starting to land on target now. And same with the um, mortars. You can repeat that fire task by just hitting uh, radio code Bravo again. And it's basically rinse and repeat. Uh, the only thing that you need to do is count your ammo. Because if you keep doing it, eventually they will run out of ammunition and you'll get an error warning to say that the uh, ammo is not loaded. Um, if you have the use abilities, then you can keep reloading these and you can pretty much do it infinitely throughout an entire mission. So one more time with the artillery. And the mortars all found together. And there you go.